What do you make of this announcement? At least both you and I can talk about some good news for once. (laughs) (laughs) I think a a lot of Canadians uh, need all the help they can get, and this is obviously help. It's 1,500 items. If you look around the world, I think the one campaign, uh, the largest campaign was in Europe at 300 items. We're talking 1,500 different items, so you can basically recreate your own food basket for for your family. So that's that's one thing. The other thing, Marsha, that 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 is quite surprising is that the campaign actually includes the very lucrative holiday season coming up, and that's that's a that's about 20% of sales for for Loblaw. So that's that's quite impressive. Of course, I think it's coming a bit late because uh, prices are are really high right now. But again, it's it's better late than never. Okay, so they're freezing prices um, on 150,000 products, and yet at the same time, they have many more products on their shelves. So does this go far enough, and what products do you think, really to make an impact on people, uh, they need to, to put the price freeze on? Like what sort of basics, excuse yeah. me, I think I just misspoke. 1,500 yeah. grocery essentials. It's 15, 15, that's right. It's 1,500, yes. yeah. Um, and the average grocery store will carry about 25,000 right. products. So uh, one could think that perhaps food prices may go up elsewhere. But basically, Loblaws is offering a safe place for people to go in order to be protected somewhat from food inflation. And on Wednesday of this week, we'll hear from StatsCan about inflation again. For 13 months in a row now, we've seen the food inflation rate exceed the general inflation rate. And I think that September is going to be month number 14. Okay, so then of those products, what essentials, Sylvain, do you think that you would like to see remain at the same price until the end of January to really help out Canadian consumers? Well, if you look at the no-name brands, the, 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 the scope of that program is pretty large. It includes things like eggs and butter yeah. and, and flour. And, I mean, you can actually build a pretty decent food basket. Uh, the main staples are all there. And for Loblaws to execute on this price freeze is pretty easy. You just go back to contractual manufacturers and negotiate prices for the next three and a half months. So three and a half months in food retail is an eternity. <laughs> so I think Loblaws is, is doing good. What, what will be interesting to watch is how Empire Sobeys and Metro respond to this because they're going to be facing a barrage of criticism once again when inflation numbers come out again this week. Sylvain, thank you so much. Really appreciate you being with us. Sylvain Charlebois is a senior director of the Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie.